Choosing your first electric unicycle, or EUC for short, can be an intimidating process. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to choose your first electric unicycle, or EUC for short. But before we get into that, let me share with you my history in electric rideables. I'm Jimmy Chang, and I started into electric rideables with my one wheel during the summer of 2018. Since then, I've managed to grow my fleet of personal electric mobility devices to three one wheels, two electric skateboards, and two electric unicycles. My wife says I have a problem, and I can't disagree. I enjoy each device for different reasons, and each device has its strengths and weaknesses. When it comes to choosing your first EUC, it is much more difficult than choosing your first one wheel for the following reason. There's basically only one company that makes a self-balancing electric skateboard with only one wheel. The one wheel by Future Motion. And at the time of this video, there are only two models of one wheels in production, the XR and the Pint. So choosing a one wheel is not difficult. There just aren't very many choices. EUCs, however, are made by several companies, including Kingsong, Gotway, InMotion, and Ninebot slash Segway. And each of these companies produces several models of EUCs, which comes in different sizes, power, range, and pricing. EUC wheel sizes come in 12 inches, 14 inches, 16 inches, 18 inches, and the wheel diameters of some models even go bigger than that. With so many brands and so many different wheel sizes to choose from, one can easily become discouraged by the process of choosing their first electric unicycle. To make things simple, I break down this process into four easy steps. Number one, wheel size. What size is right for you? For beginners, I recommend a 16 inch wheel to learn on. The smaller wheels tend to be more agile, but harder to learn on and to balance on. And they may be less able to handle bumps, cracks, and potholes on the road. The larger 18 inch wheel tends to be more intimidating as they are heavier and difficult to carry, move, and maneuver for new riders. I recommend 16 inches as a good size for new riders to start, unless you're a heavier rider who needs a larger wheel with a larger weight limit. And if you're a smaller rider, 16 inches should be fine because my 12 year old daughter does fine on my 16 inch wheel. The next step to consider is price. This is highly dependent on the individual. I can't make assumptions on how much you can or are willing to spend on your first EUC, but I will share with you this. There are basically two schools of thought. Number one, buy an inexpensive used one wheel as your training wheel so you can abuse it as you learn the art of the EUC. Then, when you outgrow it, get the EUC of your dreams and unleash the power. Or, option number two, buy the EUC of your dreams at the beginning, learn how to ride it, then you won't outgrow it or have to replace it so quickly when your skills improve. Neither school of thought is perfect. If you buy an inexpensive used wheel, it may provide a suboptimal experience, and you may never develop a passion for the EUC like so many before, simply because you learned on an inferior wheel. In addition, after upgrading to your dream wheel, you will have spent the money to buy two wheels in this process. This is not all terrible, as one cannot have too many wheels. It's also nice to have a training wheel to teach others. If you buy the EUC of your dreams from the beginning, you run the risk of beating it up as you go through the learning process, which is pretty steep. Then, if you decide the one wheel is not for you, you will have spent a lot of money on a hobby that you'll be abandoning. What do I recommend? For your first EUC, get something middle of the road. It will give you plenty of performance for a beginner, and it will be able to grow with you as your skills improve, so you won't have to replace it anytime soon. In addition, the extra power and range of a mid-range wheel offers added safety that inferior wheels just don't have because I promise you, if you stick to it, once you get through the steep learning curve, you'll be craving more speed and range. The next thing to consider when looking at your first EUC is brand. There's little name recognition with the EUC brands with the general public, other than Segway, which was purchased by the Chinese company Ninebot. But in general, here are some considerations about each brand. Remember, these are just generalizations. In Motion. This is a confusing story of a partnership between a Chinese company called In Motion and a US company called Solo Wheel, which was meant to help avoid patent issues in the US. Now the company is called In Motion, and while past products were marketed as Solo Wheels, most of their current products are marketed under the In Motion label. 
Another EUC company is Kingsong. This Chinese company established its reputation for finding the balance between construction quality, performance, and safety. At the hardware level, the Kingsong electric unicycle is known for having superior construction quality, reliability, and safety. The next company, Gotway, is the most dynamic and innovative of the manufacturers. Gotway pushes the boundaries of what's possible. In the past, this has caused them to suffer from quality issues and durability concerns, but it seems that as the company has grown and evolved, these quality concerns seem to be less of an issue. Another company is Ninebot. Since the Chinese company Ninebot acquired Segway, they have introduced the Z10, which was a hit, but it seems like Ninebot is now more interested in building scooters than supporting the Z10 or building new EUCs for the future. In terms of brands, I think Kingsong, InMotion, and Gotway are solid companies. For your first wheel, you want durability and quality, since it will be taking a lot of abuse. So I lean towards Kingsong and InMotion. The last step to consider is where to buy. There's something many forget to consider when looking at their first EUC. Buying an EUC should not be a race to the bottom trying to find someone who will sell a wheel to you for the cheapest. Keep in mind that any high performance vehicle or expensive electronic device like your EUC will need servicing or new parts from time to time. Find a distributor that can help you if you run into problems with your EUC. Good luck trying to get help from China where most of the EUCs are made. Even if you speak good Mandarin, you'll find that the instructions are hard to understand and the customer support is lacking for a lot of these companies. That's why I like eWheels.com. Even with the best designed EUC, chances are that at some point your EUC will need repairs and eWheels.com is not just the largest seller of electric unicycles and scooters in North America, they are also a full service company that provides support, servicing, and spare parts after your purchase. That's it. Those are my four points to consider when choosing your first EUC. Pick a size, 16 inches for most, 18 inches for larger folks. Choose your budget and strategy. For me, I started with a mid-tier wheel that I have not regretted. The wheel has grown with me and my skill, and I love taking it off-roading, using it to teach others, and now my daughter rides it everywhere. Step number three, pick a brand. I'd stick with InMotion and Kingsong from now as your first wheel, mainly because of their good track record with durability and customer support. And step number four, pick a seller. I'm all for saving a little money, but be aware that some vendors are overseas and getting help from them can be difficult. I've been super happy with eWheels.com and that is where I purchased my last two EUCs. I'm an affiliate with eWheels now because I have been so pleased with their service, eWheels is a company I can recommend with confidence. So what was my first EUC you ask? Well, I'm writing it now, my Kingsong 16S and I got it through eWheels. You see, even nine months later, I still love it. When I was choosing my first wheel, I narrowed it down to the Kingsong and the InMotion V8. The V8 was less expensive, but the 16S won in nearly every other metric. Sure, it was a little higher in price, but it was able to grow with me as my skills grew. If you're interested in getting your first EUC, I strongly recommend eWheels.com. I have a link below. Every purchase you make through that link goes to supporting the channel and growing this channel so I can keep bringing you quality content. My goal is to educate, entertain, and encourage people to get out there and ride. I hope you found this video helpful. Be safe, and always remember to wear your safety gear.